Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is a real quick, urgent prayer request. This says, um, it's from our sister, Tricia, that lives in Oregon. She said, tried two different ways to contact you today. Sent you an email with a picture of what it looks like here. Yeah, I'm behind in my email, that, that's for sure. And left a comment. In one video for you to check your email now I did I did comments this morning and got all caught up on them so she must have commented after I got all done no response I may not survive the night due to a firestorm a bad way to go for sure fire is all around us Oh man, I wouldn't stay. I, I gosh, yo, I would throw me some stuff in a bag, throw my toothbrush and buy that kind of stuff, and head for the hills or whatever. Head out of the way of the storm. I don't see any way to escape unless it's put out. People have been told to go to the fairgrounds. Once a code three is given, but no way can 55,000 people park there. I am just praying for discernment and rain. Huge winds coming tonight, fanning the flames, headed right for me. Maybe it's supposed to end this way. No way. No way. She said, gotta run. No way is it supposed to end that way. I'm going to say, putting up a video for prayer now. It, it, it's just not, y'all. I'm telling you. Okay, here's Oregon Cali Fire Dangers update. This must be the one she was talking about. It's, um, let me see. It's put up by Logic Before Authority. It's called Oregon and Cali Fire Dangers Update. It's Hi guys, this is Daniel there. Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. I want to get straight to the fires that are going on in Oregon and in California and uh, bring everybody up to date. This video will be uploaded immediately upon uh, me finishing it, which will be about 15-20 minutes from the moment of now. Uh, so you should have it on your screen in about 20 minutes. Okay, now, things are changing fast out in, uh, in Oregon and in California. Uh, the fires have continued to intensify. They've intensified to the north and intensified down in California to the south. Um, the, there is, you can see this map right here. Yeah, I can't tell if the these are must be roads. There's blue. That's probably a river. That's probably a river because it's coming out of the ocean. And then there's. I can't re read the map. We're looking at, and you can see the fires going. This is over about the last. Um. This is about the last hour or so, okay? So you can see the red area is showing up as actual flame. So that we have a major fire here, which is right outside of Corvallis, just to the west of the city, down close to the city, to the west of Corvallis. We have a major fire right in this area here. And that is um, on both sides. Let me uh, hang on just a second. Wherever this is in Oregon, it's like there's a there's a big fire to the north. There's one to the west. There's little ones to the south, where you wouldn't want to drive in between any of them. I imagine, because on a map, a big you know, they look like a little circle, but 
in reality, it's miles big. Let's see what he's going to say. I'm trying to give you more of a location name. This fire is closing in on Mill City, if it isn't already there. And uh, it looks like it's hard to tell under some of this. We're going to look at another view here in a second, which might help us. But this is a major, major fire. It really stretches through all of this area, all the way up to here. Now, this is getting up close to Portland. Um, let's see, the name of that area there is Oregon City. Okay, that little elbow that you see right here, close to Portland, that's called Oregon City. Okay, there's a lot of suburbs and a lot of homes in the mountains. I'm looking at them on another map, which I'll share with you here in a minute. Uh, but there's a lot of a lot of development up through there, and it is on major fire. Salem is right down in here. So this fire to the west right here. You mean to the east. This is to the east, excuse me, of Salem. And the fire is rather massive. It if it ain't burned down houses in the uh, suburbs of Salem at this at this time, I would be highly surprised. Because as you can see, it stretches all the way over here. The interstate uh, that comes down through what is that? Eighty-five. Let me see. I wish I had her phone Five, number. Five, excuse me. I don't have her phone number. And then you've got, trying to see the name of this other road here. Okay, well, I'm going to stop, stop this here so I can get it up so y'all can be praying. She needs urgent prayer. They are elderly. She's in bad health. I mean, it hurts her just to, she can walk a little bit. But then her back's hurting her real bad. She can't sit. She can't sit in a folding chair in, in some rec center. You know what I mean? She can hardly sit in, in a new truck to go to town to go to the doctor that's got a well-padded seat. But she can handle that better than sitting inside of some place in a metal chair. She couldn't do it. Uh... Bless her heart, and her and her husband's got his issues, and like I said, they're 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 what you they're senior citizens, and they they need to get out of there. They got, they have no family around there. Okay, I'm I'm going to end this here, so you can all start praying with me. Oh dear Jesus. We ask you to make it rain. Let the rain clouds come in there, conglomerate, and pour down buckets of rain over these fires, Lord. Please keep your warrior angels around our sister and her husband. Oh, dear God, please help them. Please protect them. This is not the way for one of your brides to go. I know it isn't. In Jesus' name, I pray for ultimate protection now. Amen and amen. All right. As usual, I plead the blood of Jesus over all of us, our, our devices and our connections, and I'll talk to you, I guess, tomorrow. I'm going to be praying now. All right, good night, everybody. Whenever you see this, please pray for Tricia and her husband. Give them wisdom. Safety on the road if they pack up and go. And I pray they do if the Lord leads. He may say stay put and pour down buckets of rain. That's what I pray for. In Jesus' name. <laughs>